Hi, I would like to show you the fastest and the best way to start your embedded development project using MPROG Thunderbench for ARM Cortex. When you initially start Thunderbench, you need to select the location of your workspace. You can accept the default or choose the location where you want to create your workspace. It is highly recommended to create the workspace outside the tool folder and in a directory where you have full permission to read, write, and create files. Once you are inside Thunderbench, you will see the Control Center. To display the Control Center at any time, please click on the green EM icon in the toolbar. To quickly create your ARM Cortex project, you can follow these three easy steps. Step 1. Select your embedded device or BSP. 2. Add your JTAG probe to your project. 3. Launch the debugger with your choice of JTAG probe. The quickest way to create your first project is to start with a ready-made example project. Let's have a look at Energy Micro. For example, the STK3700 applications. You can see a list that you can choose from. All Thunderbench examples and BSPs are specially crafted and can be used as the backbone for your real-time application. Please select the closest example to your end application. Going back to Chipmaker selection screen. For this example, I will choose another chipmaker like Texas Instruments. Then I select one of the TI starter kits. For this tutorial, I will choose the master demo project, a medium size and medium complexity project. It demonstrates all what you need to get started with your own application for the selected target device. After selecting the project, we will select the popular Seger J-Link. Thunderbench will continue and automatically build your project and making it ready for downloading to your target and debugging. It is important to note here that these BSPs and applications are located in the installation tool folder. They are copied to your workspace directory, then built and made ready for debugging. In this manner, you can modify the example without impacting the original code. To recompile or rebuild the project again, you can click on Build or Rebuild icons in the toolbar. To launch the debugger, you can click on the debug icon that will automatically start the proper GDB server and prompts you if you want to do so. I say yes. At first run, I need to set up the target that I need to connect to. Please note that this setup is only done once. On the next run, Thunderbench will remember your custom settings and the proper GDB server. Before jumping into the debugger, I would like to point out the Advanced Debugger Launch Configuration Editor, where for example, you can set up in advance two startup breakpoints, one at the reset vector and another at your user main. When ready, click Debug again, and that will launch the debugger and will take you directly to the debugger default perspective. This perspective has all the basic debugging windows you need to effectively debug your application. Of course, you can completely change the layout and views and customize it to your liking. The default layout consists of the debugger execution toolbar, the debug view, the source view shows the C source, the console view displays the activities and the output from threads and the active GDB server. The variables view shows the values of your local and global variables. The breakpoints view, where you can set, edit, or cancel a breakpoint, including complex and conditional breakpoints. The expressions view, the registers view, displays the main MCU registers and their values. The disassembly view, the memory browser view. For more details on all these views and usage, you can prefer to other videos and tutorials or documentation. You notice here that we stopped at the user main. We can also add a global variable by selecting it from the list. When we hover the mouse over an SFR or a function or a macro, Thunderbench will expand its declaration, value, or location in a tooltip. Let's scroll down to line 827 and right-click on the if-else statement and ask the debugger to run to this line. Done! Notice the local variables have been updated. 
to watch on an SFR or any declared structure like this one, we will switch to the expression view window, then drag it into the expression window, where we can get its value and element. We can edit the expression and add the ampersand sign to get the location address and memory where it is located. In this case, the expression view will show both the location and all its element values, or simply hover the mouse over it to get the same result. Let's scroll down again to line 889 and toggle a breakpoint. Then we hit run and the code will break at the breakpoint. Notice the local variables have been updated. Clicking on run again, Thunderbench will execute your application on target and in real time. Suspending the code will make the application stop. To exit the debugger and go back to the IDE, it is recommended to click on Terminate All and Exit Debugger icon. This icon makes sure to terminate all sessions in order to start fresh the next debug session. Thank you for watching this quick start video. We hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at mprog.com or at info at mprog.com.